Hi everyone, we are here with the Rodecaster Pro and I'm testing this thing. Um, I posted a video earlier about the whole podcast setup and uh, I'm playing with it right now and I noticed something kind of weird um, with the floor noise and the levels audio and the cloud lifter. I'm not sure if it is the Rodecaster or is the cloud lifter or if the cloud lifter is really working you know it's introducing noise into the the console um i'm gonna show you here the different levels so if somebody know what's going on or the people from road are watching and know what's going on i would like to somebody tell me or in the comments like how i can fix this or it can be fixed with a with a firmware or something you know with a new software I'm running the latest version, the 2.03 version. So let's take a look. Okay, here we have the Rodecaster Pro and uh, I don't have nothing attached to the mixer. This is unplugged, there is no microphone attached. I'm gonna move the microphone, the number one microphone to Unity Game, that is the fifth line from the top and as you see right here you see the main level lines and this red dot here indicates that that line have the phantom power off I mean on I'm gonna put it off and as you see there is nothing connected to the Rodecaster Pro and those lights are moving if I move it to the next level down uh, volume, it go away. Well, blink one every now and then, but the lights go away. I move it to the Unity gain. No Unity gain. You see? And that is nothing connected to the Rodecaster, right? Now, I'm gonna connect the cloud lifter. Let me put this down. Connect the cloud lifter. The cloud lifter require phantom power. So I'm gonna turn on the phantom power. I'm gonna leave the level at 25, like it was before. I'm gonna move this to Unity Gain. Look at that, main, microphone, there is nothing else attached to the cloud lifter, nothing else. Let me move, move this volume one line down, steel, and steel, you know. Now, they move it to Unity Gain. Advanced noise gate. If I turn on the noise gate reduction, that helps a lot with the floor noise. At Unity Gain, no noise at the microphone. But for some reason, you see this blinking here. I'm gonna move it a one line down and everything disappear. It's perfect. Now, let me test the same thing without the cloud lifter and uh, no, the noise get, gate on because I had it off before. That is a Unity gain. Nothing. It worked perfect, perfectly. So, what tells me is that you want that on. It works perfectly. Now, what bothers me is that when you connect the cloud lifter, let me see that the phantom power is still on. Yes, still on.
you have that lines there. So that means that the cloud lifter that don't have any microphone attached is introducing some kind of noise to the console. If I move this, you will see this is the Unity game, and it's introducing some kind of noise to the console. Now, let me remove the cloud lifter. Let me turn off the phantom power. Go back. Now, I'm going to connect the... Sure SM7B microphone directly to the mixer. Okay. Phantom power off. Level is the same one. Move this notch at unity gain. Zero. no noise at all when you use the noise gate at unity gain. If you turn off the noise gate, you see it there. You move it one notch down, you're still picking up something from the floor noise. Yeah, but what is interesting here, so you wanna use that noise gate. What is interesting here is that if you connect the cloud lifter by itself, no microphone attached, the cloud lifter is introducing some kind of noise to the mixer, to Rodecaster Pro. So the question is, is this really, really clean, clean game? As, you know, many people call it. I don't know. I have my serious doubt right now if I should keep this or return it because I feel like it's introducing noise to the console. To me, it's, it's better to have the microphone directly to the mixer instead of using this. And this uh, Rodecaster Pro is... Perfect, you know, like work for the Shure S7, I mean, SM7B work perfectly. Like ha, this console have enough power to power that microphone. You don't really need this with this uh, m console with that microphone. So I don't know. That's what I was checking here. Now, the last test will be to connect the cloud lifter to the Rodecaster Pro and then the microphone. Let's do that. Okay. Now, remember, the cloud lifter requires phantom power. Let's turn on that. Volume at 25. Phantom power on. Let me see that the noise gate is on. Let me turn it off first. Now let me move this notch to unity gain. One notch down. Unity gain again. Noise gate activated. One notch down. So as you see, um, the cloud lifter is introducing some kind of noise to the Rodecaster Pro. I don't know if the level numbers in the Rodecaster Pro means like decibels or what, but I definitely um, get like 10, 
numbers, whatever numbers are in the audio levels in the Rodecaster Pro. So definitely you get a gain, a boost of the audio with this box, but looks like um, it's not that clean after all. Looks like uh, it's introducing some kind of noise. So I don't know if this is uh, damage. So if I need a, another one, or this is normal, so if somebody uh, know what's going on here, please leave me a comment below. And also, just for reference, I'm not using the this microphone, I'm using the Rode Video Mic Pro right now. Uh, you're not listening through the uh, Shure SM7B. So I will continue testing this. If somebody knows what's going on here, why this thing is introducing noise, probably is damaged, I need a replacement or something like, like that. Please let me a comment below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get um, notified when I post more videos like this one. Thank you. Thank you for watching.